very good. I have another joke for you. Oh, okay. Oh, go ahead. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You ready out there? Why did the chicken cross the road? Um, I don't know. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I thought there was another reason. There's no other reason? Nope. Oh, it's okay. a joke. It's <laughs> okay. not a serious question. Oh, okay, good. I don't want like a dissertation <laughs> on why chickens cross roads What's or the migration patterns of the chickenous surrenderous. Okay, got it. Okay. <laughs> Hey, I got another question. Okay, I hope it's an easier one. Why did the Israelites cross the Red Sea? Oh. I mean, why did they have to? Oh. Uh, and this isn't a joke, right? No, okay. I really want to know oh, why okay. did they have to cross the okay. Red Sea? Well, do you remember why they were in Egypt? Just let me think. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> well, I forget. years before, Joseph was there. And he was the son of the son of the son of Abraham and Isaac. And uh, he was sold into slavery. And he was there in Egypt eventually. And he helped all of Egypt survive a famine. Because he was like made up higher, almost next to Pharaoh. Right. His brothers were mean to him and they mm -hmm. sold him to some guys in a caravan. That's right. I don't think it was a Dodge caravan, no. but it was a caravan <laughs> and he ended up in jail and he didn't do anything wrong. That's right. Because God didn't let evil people thwart him from his plan, his promises. He kept his promises. Even though Joseph's family, uh, sorry, eventually, Joseph's family was brought to Egypt during the famine to help them survive. And in this way, God kept his promises to Isaac and Abraham and Jacob. His promise that they would become a great nation and a light to the world. A light to the world. Mm -hmm. They became a really big family with yep. 12 different tribes. Mm -hmm. And they had the Pharaoh and made them slaves and he was really mean to them. Yes, he was. That's right. Um, and God brought 10 plagues to the Egyptians to show Pharaoh his power and to rescue his people. And God was faithful and he protected the Israelites. Yeah, and then the nasty Pharaoh changed his mind yeah, he... and he started to chase them with his armies yes. and his cart things with horses pulling. Yep. Whoosh, whoosh, get them! Ah, he chased them. And the Israelites were terrified yeah, whip, when terrified. they saw his army and they were up next to the sea and they forgot that God was faithful and loves his people. Can you believe it? No, they, I can't believe that. Know, they started to blame Moses for bringing them out of Egypt. What? But again, God provided a way for his people and he would not let Pharaoh win. Oh, so that's when Moses took out his big stick and held it over the yeah. Red Sea over his head mm -hmm. and blamo and kaplooey yeah. and the water split in two and there were dolphins on one side swimming yep. in and water <laughs> and on the other side there were whales swimming that's in right. water and in the middle there was dry land. That's right and the Israelites crossed over safely. Yeah, and they got away from Pharaoh's army. Mm -hmm. It was God, a miracle. God delivered them from their slavery. Right, and they lived happily ever after. Amen, right? Well, the Bible says that they saw God's power and they put their trust in him and in Moses for a while. What do you mean for a while? Well, for a while? <laughs> They just saw ten plagues called down, and they saw the water of the Red Sea split in half, and then they forgot. I know, Did they I know. forget? What but, I don't understand. As it turns out, the Israelites did forget God's powerfulness and his love for them. And, you know, sometimes they remembered and sometimes they didn't. Really? Even though God parted the Red Sea mm -hmm. for them? How could they forget? Did they fall on a rock and get amnesia? <laughs> Sheesh. Well, actually, that's part of next week's story. Not that they fell on a rock and got amnesia. <laughs> but we hear more about how they remembered his faithfulness and how they forgot and they started to complain. So next week's story, you're going to leave me hanging, story aren't you? Continues. This is going to be one of those cliffhangers like, da, da, da. Yes, right. join us next week yep. and eat your zippies.
<laughs> Whatever those are. Okay. I think it's time we say goodbye, Gobo. Okay, but I'm wondering what happened next week. Well, you can wait till next week, can't you? Not very good at waiting, but I guess I can. Yeah. And we, we do know it has something to do with God's faithfulness and love for us, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, let this story continue next week. Okay. Bye, friends. Bye, everyone. Hope you have a great week. God loves you. And so do we. Bye. Bye.